GM, 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 what's up, clubbers? Welcome to Web3 Club. In today's video, what we're going to learn is how do we deploy a smart contract, any smart contract, to different chains like Polygon, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Avalanche, and whatnot. The method that I show you today will let you deploy your smart contract to any EVM based smart contract chain. So, in essence, if a new chain comes which is EVM based, what you can theoretically do is just copy your own smart contract or any other appropriately licensed smart contract and just deploy that on that new chain and get started. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. If you want to send me a message, please leave it in the YouTube comments or if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, with that said, let's get started. So as always, I'm on the Open Zeppelin smart contract wizard and today what we're going to do is deploy an ERC20 token to various chains. Just fill in these details as you like. Uh, I've made the, token, the smart contract burnable. I've added a pre-mint and given the name and symbol. Now I just click on open in Remix and wait for it to load on Remix. Once it opens up on Remix, you can see this is how the code looks like. And uh, if you go here and just click on compile, this should hopefully compile without any problems. Voila, the compilation is done. And the next thing that we need to do is just go here. This is the tab which helps us deploy our smart contract to either the real world chain or the in browser environment. Now, if you click here, you'll see there's a there's an option called injected provider. And what this means is that this will allow us to connect to our MetaMask, uh, allow our remix, the IDE to connect to MetaMask and then use MetaMask's provider to send a transaction which deploys the smart contract. Now, whichever chain you send this transaction on is the chain where the smart contract will be deployed. You can go and check uh, MetaMask over here and you can see there are a bunch of networks listed over here. Um, Ethereum is of course present. I have also added Matic and we will today add more and more chains over here. Now to do that, you can just go to this website called chainlist.org and you just click on connect wallet and just click next connect. Once done, you will see that there's a bunch of there are a bunch of uh, chains <laughs> that you can basically add to your metamask. So let's say I want to use Binance Smart Chain. So I'll just go ahead and click on add to metamask. It will show me a prompt which tells me the network URL, the JSON RPC URL and the chain ID. So I can just click on approve and just switch networks. So once I do that, you will see that my network has changed to Binance Smart Chain. Now, of course, I need to have the native token of that chain. So BNB in case of Binance Smart Chain to be able to deploy the smart contract because that is how I will pay the gas fees. And I don't have that right now, but I'm assuming if you're deploying a smart contract, you will have the tokens of that chain. So similarly, I can also add Avalanche to my MetaMask by just clicking over here and clicking approve and switching to Avalanche. I can also add Optimism. I can also add Arbitrum, Phantom, Clayton, Aurora and whatnot. All right. So all these chains are pretty good chains and you can just add them directly to the MetaMask. The networks that, you know, the chains, the networks that are connected to your MetaMask are listed over here. Now we go back to Remix and we click Injected Provider. I have already connected my MetaMask to Remix, so which is why it did not give you a, give me a prompt, but it might give you a prompt. So just connect. After the connection is done, it'll just let me know the chain ID over here and I hope this is visible. So it lets me know the chain ID which is 43,114 which is the chain ID for Avalanche. If I change it to Ethereum the chain ID turns to 1 and if I change it to Matic the Polygon chain it changes to 137. So whatever chain we are connected to is the chain where we will deploy this smart contract. Uh, if I want to deploy it on Polygon what I need to do is just select Matic over here and then basically just select the, the smart contract and click on deploy. Once done, um, it will prompt me to basically deploy this. I can just go ahead and click confirm and the deployment should take place. And there was some error, but now the deployment has taken place and I can check 
it on the block explorer the transaction has not been included and just as i said that it has been included and you can see that a new smart contract has been deployed over here so the next thing that i can do is deploy this on a different chain and how do i do that i can just go here to my metamask and change the chain and i know for a fact that i have some tokens in rinkibai so i'm going to change it to rinkibai and rinkibai is chain id 4 and you can see over here the chain id 4 and now again i can just click on deploy and my metamask pop-up will come and this time if i click confirm the smart contract will be deployed on rinkibai so if i click on view on ether scan you can see that the transaction is pending but the previous one was deployed on polygon scan i've just received a notification that this has been deployed so uh, hopefully we should see a result over here but as you can see we just deployed the same code on both polygon and rinkibai now if i had the avalanche's avax tokens or eth on aurora or something like that i could have used that chain and deployed a smart contract to that specific chain so the key takeaway from this video i hope you will have is that the smart contract is deployed on the chain with a transaction so whichever chain we send the transaction to is the chain where the smart contract is deployed and how do we tell our remix or metamask the chain that we want to send the transaction to or deploy the smart contract on uh, we just go here in metamask and select the network over here a bunch of people had asked me this specific question how do they deploy on x chain on y chain so i hope this answers your question this will not work for non evm based chains like solana like near they don't work on top of evm which is the ethereum virtual machine so if you're going to work with those chains this method will not work for you and you will have to figure out how do we work on that specific chain if you have that specific chain in mind please let me know in the youtube comment down below and i will try to make a video on that i hope this was helpful Thank you so much for watching till the end. If this was helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I upload new videos every week explaining how do you do something or the other with smart contracts, with Web3 and whatnot. If you want to send me a message, leave a comment, something like that, just, just let me know in the YouTube comment. And if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. I hope to see you again next week. Till then, bye-bye.